there is a principle which is alive that no scientist will ever be able to put in a box, that no biologist or neurologist will ever, ever be able to categorize, that there's this ingraspable, unfathomable principle of intelligence, of intelligent existence, of a lifeness which perhaps does not have a form of its own, yet still exists, cannot be categorized or conceptualized or put in a box, yet exists, cannot be physically brought down, placed inside of a jar, put on a shelf, or written down inside of a book, yet it exists. Spirituality is the understanding, the conviction, the belief, and ultimately, ideally, the direct experience, which is what this entire retreat is going to focus itself on predominantly, okay, is to give you the tools that you need to directly recognize that which never changes so that you can merge back into your true self through the eye of the storm of this whole pandemic to find your true self, to use this as an excuse, as a permission slip, to recognize the truth, to practice the truth of your being, of your existence. So what if there exists this principle of intelligence, intelligent aliveness of beingness, call it God if you will, call it source, call it the enlightened mind, call it pure consciousness, call it the great I am, call it universal consciousness, call it woo-woo, really doesn't matter, call it Shiva, call it Brahman. It really doesn't matter. It does not care what name it gets in your mind. It exists regardless of name and form and shape and size and dimensions and space and time. But imagine again, because some of you might be thinking now, why would I, why would I want to be interested in this topic? And I'm not here to convince you that you should, first of all, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but I do want to kind of give it a shot. I want to promote it as best as I can. So I will be truthful and say that I believe that not only is it imperative for our civilization and its future trajectory, that more people around the world, people like you watching right now, prioritize, devote themselves to, commit themselves to a true, a genuine, direct experience-based spiritual practice that's free of dogma, that's free of lineage, that's free of religious concepts. Direct awakening of self to self, your own awakening to what's true in the deepest levels of your being. Because that and that alone will solve all the issues on a surface level. My desire is to assist or help this planet be a happier version of itself. Now, there's many ways in which we can contribute to that. There's environmentalists, there's philanthropists, there is uh, all kinds of charitable organizations, some of which are genuine. And you can go save forests, preserve nature. Um, and I recommend all these things. I think they're all very valuable pursuits. However, my, the predominant focus that I suppose my brand, if you will, or organization or movement or intention has is to solve the issues at their core root level. And all the issues we've ever generated come from confusion which comes from a non-understanding of what is true, of what we really are. So if we can help millions of people around the world, and we can in today's world, we can very quickly. And this is one aspect of that. And you being here and you having shared this perhaps with some of your friends is an aspect of that paying it forward. To light the flames of millions using a single flame, in this case you or me, to spread this fire of self-awareness so that people get the direct tools that will solve automatically the issues that we produce as a human being in a state of delusion. Because if you solve the delusion, you solve all the expressions that come from that delusion, from those distortions, from those imbalances, 